All right. Welcome. Um, I'm going to try and work on this today, and it's been a while since I've done anything to it. Um, we're going to do a little test fit of this body, um, which you've seen in the other video. But real quick, before we do that, just remember, if you want to be a part of this giveaway thing, you got to send me an email. So uh, I have your contact information. You're going to send it to crawltalkrun at gmail.com and you're going to say, my name is such and such. This is my YouTube username. And um, that'll enter you into this giveaway. Remember, we're going to give away two separate um, items. One's going to be an Emacs servo that you see here, this little guy. And then the other one's going to be a, uh, a set of these shocks, actually, as you see here. Um, so make sure you do that. All right, but on to this. So this is the uh, the frame. It's actually sitting like this currently. And uh, I've kind of taken this apart because I have a axle that has a broken screw in it in this thing and I don't have a drill bit small enough. So what I think I might do is just buy metal axles for this one and put these axles on my son's truck, which is this guy. It is what it is. So minus everything that is going to be on this truck, that's where the bumper mounts. Well, I don't know how it'll mount, but so you can see how short it is in comparison. But if we center it, that's pretty much where the wheels are going to be. I don't know. It's weird. But I wanted to get a better look, so we're going to take this thing apart and try it. We're gonna have to uh, go down to. I mean, I, this is the problem I have with the kinetics. See how it hangs up? The other side slacks out. It's because there's like play like this. So I think we're gonna have to shorten the links if I want this body to work at least to bring it in a little bit to here. Maybe straight up and down. So use the shorter links just on the bottom maybe, or these ones here and here. I'm not entirely sure. But we're gonna have to do that because this is like really long right now. These are the longest ones that I have. And um, for the square body, it's fine, but I think for this, we're going to have to shrink it up a little bit. And then I'll run these smaller tires. Um, I forget even what these are. These are... Are they RC four-wheel drive? Yeah. So you can see right up here, RC four-wheel drive. There's some X3 compound. They're not even glued on. These rims I got from uh, Squid RC or something on uh, Etsy, 3D printed, dished. You know, you hear me say, oh, I hate the dished wheels. There's foam in these. Maybe I'll run them without foam because they're kind of stiff uh, with it. But I don't know if it's going to necessarily make a difference. So, back on. See, there's just not much give but there's also not much sidewall which is why i've been running these stock wheels and tires almost the same wheel size but i like the sidewall all right so short wheelbase is on other wheels are on um i just i don't I'm not happy with it at all. 
So that's what I got so far. Can move it forward, but then the rear end's weird. I could shorten the rear end a little bit, but it'll be super top heavy. So what I think I'm gonna do is chop out the middle portion that's as wide as the frame. So chop up to this line here and um, hopefully get it to sit a little lower so I can use these hood pins. And we'll have to figure out the rear end. I suppose what I could do is cut along this and just get some extra styrene, but this isn't really styrene and it doesn't feel like it at all. I gotta glue these tires on. Like that's okay, and then I could cut out this back piece. And if I move it, I don't know. I don't know what I want. It's very common. There you, could, you could do that new fashion right now is get a squatted truck. It's so dumb. <laughs> All right, I got some more progress. So I'm gonna like hook this in like that. Use those screws to kind of use it as the front placement there. And then on the back, I'm gonna take out that little notch there. And um, I think it'll sit pretty good. You're gonna have to make it like a, exactly what we were talking about before as a belly dragger. You and me were talking about that JT, but um, I think that's gonna be the only way this body works. So we'll see what's up. It looks ugly in my opinion. Maybe if I scoot it back a little bit. I don't know, dude. It cut the bit, the rear end off. We'll see. It's fitting better though. So all I'm doing is heating up a razor blade and then kind of pressing. And then I, I got like a little jeweler's file that I'm like fine filing it down with all right, I think I got like the final fit. I just need to polish it up and I've been complaining this whole time pretty much about nothing. But so what I've done is I've just kind of marked where that rear tray is, you know. Um, I should probably do a couple more um, little filings on there. So it's going to sit like this on the front, which is pretty cool, right? I'm gonna have to sh I'm gonna have to shave the whole rear lower quarter off there, but I think it'll be all right. It'll just be like a super modified <laughs> truck, but um, so you can see it's notched there. It's not terrible. I gotta file the inside to get those little grooves perfect, but I mean overall, right. Oh, too much zoom. Daddy. So maybe I took my someday truck. down the line. Daddy, my truck's out, out of the camera. Yeah, you can have your truck in the camera if you want. But I, I want you. So there it is. Let's do that's that's like a semi-final testing here. Let's try doing three tires on it. It's going to be like a really, hopefully, like a really nice crawler. Um, Daddy, that can be my car. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, let's take this out of here. Why take that out of there? It'll look pretty good. My opinion is slowly changing. But if you look at the rear end when we do a nice little flexy bit on it, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, that my phone out. So if you look at the rear end, you can see that 
I'm gonna have to cut that corner out of it. So everything basically, I'll probably just come straight across the back wheel well there and have a nice straight line that goes all the way over. Kind of take out that tail light section. We'll see though, maybe I'll round it on the back here. I'll round it back down. That's pretty much max flex that it, it'll get on the way in. Um, just the way I have it mounted right now, but so you can see how high it'll go. Pretty nasty looking.